how to create an animated YouTube intro or outro fast and easy and mostly free. This is the topic of this video in which I show you step by step how to make clean and stunning intro or outro for your videos. This will be a complete tutorial step by step so make sure you watch it until the end. Also if you get value from this video give it a big thumbs up and let's continue. To make an intro, go to canva.com, you will find a link in the description of this video. Click Create a Design in the search box, write YouTube. Choose YouTube Intro or YouTube Outro, they both are the same dimensions. This is our canvas. You can choose your background clicking on Background or clicking on Videos. Let's try to find sparkles and as you can see, most of the sparkles that look pretty good are not available for free version. Well, no problem. Go to Pixabay, apply a filter video and search for sparkles. Choose the sparkles that you like, click on them. As you can see, it's free to download and no attribution required. Click on free download and click on download. Don't forget to create the author. It's not required, but I always do that because why not? Go back to Canva, Click on Uploads on the left side, Upload Media, choose Device, and upload the video that we downloaded from Pixabay. Click on it and resize it. You can crop it, make sure it's not too long, about four seconds, okay? Click down when you're finished. Go to Elements, choose Frames, Circle Frame. Resize it and recenter it. Go to uploads and choose different video. When you move it, it will take the frame. Go back to elements and choose another circle frame. Place it inside the bigger circle. Click on upload and choose our first video. Place it inside the little circle. Go back to Elements and click on another circle frame. Resize it inside the other two circles. Make sure it's in the center. Now we're going to put our picture inside. Go to Uploads. Make sure you're on not in the videos but on images and choose an image of yourself. You can upload your media or choose from your library. I like this picture. Drag and drop inside your frame. When you double click on it, you can move it and resize it. Go back to Elements and type in the search box Animated YouTube. Here are our subscribe button. Resize it and make sure it's in the center. Go to Text and choose the text you like. Double click on it to type in and resize it, recenter it, move it as you like. Click on Effects and choose the template you like. I like Splice. Choose your color. Now go to those scissors and let's crop all the videos that we put inside the frames. Make sure they are the same length as our first video. Click on Animate and choose the animation you like. When you're done, click on Download Video, make sure it's MP4 and click on Download. Go back to Canva and click on Create a Design. Search for YouTube and choose YouTube Intro or Outro. Go to Background and choose the background you like. 
go to elements and let's search for animated sparkles choose the one you, you like you can duplicate them move them resize them go to text choose the text that you like I like my boo resize it and make sure it's in the center now let's apply effect on it I like splice and choose a color double click to type in click on animate and choose the animation that you like click on this little icon on the top right to duplicate the page make sure you edit in the second page now let's get rid of all this stuff select it and click on the garbage can to delete them now let's add some social media go to elements and type social media in the search box choose the media that you like and place them inside your page click on text and let's add heading double click on it and type your name change the color if needed duplicate the page again and go to second page let's get rid of all these things now go to first page and duplicate your text drag it to the second page let's be friends recenter it and then go to the third page and choose the animation you like I like thumble let's check how it looks it's still a bit too long for me so I'm going to crop the videos on each page Let's check it again. Looks good. When done, click on download video, make sure it's mp4 and make sure all the pages included and click on download. Go to create a design, type YouTube, choose YouTube intro or outro. This time we're gonna use a template. For this design, I used Mariel Smith template. Go to Uploads, Videos, and choose the video of yourself. Resize it so it will look like it's a part of a picture. Let's crop it so it won't be too long. Double click on the text to change it, change the color. Let's add some sparkles to it. Go to Elements and type Animated Sparkles. Let's duplicate the page. Make sure you edit in the second page. Let's get rid of all these things. Go to elements, animate it, subscribe, and let's choose our subscribe button. Let's crop it to be a little bit shorter. Click on done. Duplicate the page. Make sure you edit in the third page. Go to text and choose the text you like. I use thank you, double click and write follow me. Reduce transparency to 30 and resize it. Go to elements, type in the search box, Instagram, choose a logo, Facebook, choose a logo. Let's say TikTok also, choose a logo, resize them and make sure they line together. Change the Facebook icon color. Now let's go to text and click on my boo. Get rid of this little thing and type in your name. Duplicate it three times, resize and put in line with your icons. Animate the page as you like and make sure it's not too long. Let's check how it looks. When done, click on download video, make sure it's mp4 and all the page included and click on download. So go to Canva and create our design, you know the drill. Go to Pixabay and make sure you're on videos and type background in the search box. For this intro, I use Explosion Futuristic. Click on that and download it. Don't forget to create the outer. Go back to Canva, click on Upload, Device, and choose our video from your computer. Resize it, crop it, make it shorter. Five seconds will be enough. Go to elements and type in the search box animated circle. So 
Scroll down and choose the circle you like. Resize it and recenter it. Go back to Elements, to the Frame section, and choose a circle frame. Now go to Uploads, Images, and choose your image. Drag it and drop it inside your frame. Double click to resize it. Click, go to Text, choose Coffee, please. Resize it, recenter it. Go to Effects and choose Splice and change the color. Go back to Elements, type Animated Subscribe and choose subscribe button, which is free. Not so many choices, guys, I'm telling you, but you can find something if you look. This is good, I place it inside, resize it, recenter it. When done, click on download video, make sure it's MP4 and click on download. So to make outro, go back to Canva, click on create a design, type YouTube, and this time you can choose outro. You see all these templates? This is very convenient and good to use and it will save you so much time. So I like this template, click on it and now you can customize it as you like. So first the text. Those. Make sure our subscribe button is bigger and recenter it. Of course you can change and customize everything you like, but I'm happy with this so I click on download video. Make sure it's MP4 and click on download. Let's make outro too. I will get rid of everything except those rectangles because I want to know the size. So to find my video I went to Pixabay, make sure I'm on videos and type cloud inside the search box. The template I choose is clouds sky moving. Click on that and download it for free. Go to upload and device and choose the video to upload. Resize it, make sure it's big enough, recenter everything, click on the rectangles and on the right top corner you'll find ungroup. Click on that and now they, you can move them separately. Don't forget to crop your video to make it shorter. The 7 seconds will work. Go to text and choose the text you like. I like cheers. Go to elements, let's look for like, then let's look for share and subscribe. And if you can find your subscribe button for free, you can just make one, it's very simple. I'll show you how. Go to elements and choose rectangle with rounded edges. This one is good, choose it, resize it, make sure it's red color. Now let's add some text to it, go to text and add heading and type subscribe. Go back to elements and choose another square, make it smaller and put it on your button. Go back to elements, grab a triangle from shapes, click on it, rotate it, make it smaller and put it on top of your button. Select all the elements from your button and click on group on the right top corner and now you can move your button. Now for your social media, go back to elements, type in the search box, Instagram, grab an icon, Facebook, let's say Twitter, resize them and make sure they're in the same line. Go back to text, grab a heading, double click and type your name, resize it and make it on the top and move it. To animate it, click on the background and effects and animate. When done, click on download video and download. For the last outro, we are not going to use a template, we are going to make it from scratch. Go to backgrounds and grab the one that you like. I like just pink color of my brand. I make it a little bit lighter so I can work with it. Go back to elements, click on circle shape, resize it and move it on the left. Click on square, resize it to rectangle and move it, move it to the right, duplicate it and make, it, make them color white. Go to elements, line, and we're gonna make these little nice lines around it. Duplicate them, move them as you like. So I make these cute lines around my rectangles and I add some text, click on the text, 
type more videos and place it on the top of your design and you can choose font that you like now let's grab some arrow go to elements type in the box arrow and choose the arrow that you like well let's use some animated arrow. type animated arrow and oh, that's much better I choose this one rotate it resize it and make it point to your videos duplicate your text and type subscribe here resize it and put it underneath your circle now let's grab our social icons and also grab some text and write our name And now I want to make a cute little circle around my circle. So go to Elements, Shapes, click on See All, scroll down and choose this circle. Resize it and make it white. When done, click on Download Video, make sure it's MP4 and click on Download. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. I used music from YouTube Audio Library, so you can find this music there. If you got value from this video, don't forget to like it and share it. And if you subscribe, it will mean the world to me. I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.